know. Every other team broke my heart every year. We went down before. Where's the pride, people? I feel like they, I feel like they can't rebuild it. In, in a sense that at the beginning of the season, we put Jalen Hurts on this big pedestal like he's a statue. And the only thing missing from the statue was him holding that trophy in his right hand. And you know what's been happening little by little? Boom. Our boom, there goes the legs off. All of a sudden, that statue is really chopped down to the bottom half now, and we're like, oh, we can't fix that. But he deserved that statue. I mean, off of last season. He did. He earned it with the way he played last season. And now how do you feel? Defeated. <laughs> Where is the defeat? See, you see, this is what I'm to see. This is why we have these kind of conversations on this program. And you know what really pisses me off? The they, they, same people want to go into this game and not play this game on Sunday. They could possibly have a number two seat. See, what I is going on here? I want to play the game on Sunday. I see, want all starters to play. But there, we'll are, there, there, there are people we'll out there that. saying, well, for the second, game. We need to go back to a Jim. Now, I'm not trying to say it to put you on the spot. I'm saying is, you're down. Why do you want them to play? Because they don't deserve not to play. Hold on. But what if not playing would give them, what if the argument was they need a mental break, they've been so, they weren't having fun, they've been so on the grindstone all year, and they've been making mistakes, and they've been trying to, and A.J. Brown and Jim Hurts are trying too hard because they're, sometimes, you, when you study, study, study for a test, I know you are a good student. Mm -hmm. You study, study, study. Sometimes the answer to get your good grade is a good night's sleep. Because you did all your prep, and now you need some rest, so that when it comes time to take the test, your mind is sharp. Maybe not based on their performance, but the, based on their approach, they need a mental break. What if that was the argument? Would there be no merit to that? There would be merit to that. However, I am not a professional football player, and I know that I could like sit all of my starters week 18 if I did the work leading up to it. I was a good student. You know why I didn't have to study all night before a big test? Because I went to class every day, did all my homework, and paid attention. Shut your nerd behind up over there. See how much of a nerd Jen just about If you, if you would have done the work leading up to week 18, you'd be able to see your starters. He was turning down all those guys. He didn't do the work. You should have did your study before you see how geeky she turned. Can't go out with you tonight. I gotta do my homework. Nothing wrong with being nerdy. I did get a good grade. I'm just saying, you get there behind turn. You went from, you all in one town. She went from despair. I could get back into it. To excuse me. I'm, I am, excuse me. I, this shit is that even. Like, oh my goodness. Am I wrong? I'm not wrong, though. I'm not wrong. Right, but the reality is that we are where we are. Okay. The reality is we are where we are. All right, and they're professional players. They are. They're getting a big paycheck. They now are. go out there on Sunday and do your best. All right, that's your opinion. I got it. I'm not saying I'm, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I know. What I'm saying is, is that as Eagles fans, we have talked ourselves into worse teams than this. I know it in my heart of hearts, people. You know it. Unless you're, listen, if you're 15, 16, I'm not talking to you. But if you're 21 and up, look at how we talked ourselves into the Phillies last year when most of the regular season they underachieved yeah. relative to their talent. 